Have you guys heard of cicadas? Yes. Yes. yes? They get yes. Like... That's a very... I don't know if I've ever seen cicadas, but I've seen... <laughs> You've seen the sound what, effect what file name. What... Yes. <laughs> there's, there's, there's some culture where, where cicada is like... I don't know, it's like God imagery or something. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, there's quite a few cultures. I think in China, um, cic- cicadas are seen as like sort of um, high class yes. um, beings. <laughs> yeah. 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 They run the government. No. <laughs> the, the, cicada the, C is, the C's in CCP stand for cicada. <laughs> cicada, cicada party. Um, the Chinese cicada party. No, <laughs> no, they both stand for cicada. Oh, <laughs> the cicada, cicada party. Oh, gosh. No, so if you live in the UK, you're unlikely to have seen a cicada. I think there's only one species of cicada here, and it may or may not be extinct. The most recent articles I could find about it were from 2015 saying that they, it hadn't been seen for 15 years. Oh. So. Not not looking good for the UK cicada, oh but there are different kinds of cicadas all over the world. They're usually about um, three quarters of an inch to two and a quarter inches long. So it's, they're only a hmm. few centimeters big. They're not they're not huge, um, and the reason that they're quite interesting is because they sleep for a long time and then <gasps> wake up and shout and sex and just scream just scream at top of lungs. Yeah, yeah, they wake <laughs> no, no, up yeah. and sex and then go to sleep for sixteen well, years. So this something. is so the life cycle of a cicada, right? So I'll put it very simply, and then we could go with a little more depth. Um, they are born, right? They're, so their are. eggs hatch. Yes, yeah, so as we all are, uh, their eggs, ha- their eggs hatch, um, and then they uh, sort of they dig down into the ground, and mm-hmm. then they uh, just sit in the ground at tree roots, and they just suck up nutrients around the roots Ooh. of trees for a few years. Um, some species do it for about five years. Um, other species do it for 13 or 17 years. Oh my god. Yeah, long time. So they, they sit underground, just eat for um over a decade, some of them. And then they come up, have sex, and scream. And then they die. <laughs> Interesting. And, and that's it. That is their life cycle. Hang on. Be bored. They, what a fun life. <laughs> Sorry, they have sex and then they scream. So the scream they have is sex nothing... and scream. Is the screaming to do with the sex? Or is it to okay, attract so the sex or what? I think this is to attract the sex. So they scream and then have ah. sex then. In that, yeah. in that order. Or do they scream? And then have sex and still scream. I was picturing yeah. it during sex. I mean, look, they're they're around for a few weeks. <laughs> so they, they're around for a few weeks. I mean, like four or five weeks at most, I think. Oh. Um, all the while screaming um, and sexing and then dying afterwards, after the, after a few weeks have gone. In that order. When you say screaming, do you mean the kind of cicada sound that's like... Shh, shh, shh. So some cicadas make a like a like a, a more musical sound. Um, usually the the ones that stay underground for about 17 years, they come up and uh, millions of them, millions of them um, uh, sort of, I, I guess, sprout at the same time. <laughs> um, and the noise can be like, uh, some people say it's like a jet engine or a buzzsaw. Oh my God. It's very loud. Wow. It's like, it's not just like, it's like, I mean, really, after 17 years, you'd be pent up, wouldn't you? Yeah, right. You'd be ready to go. 17 years, they're like, they're both. They're, I'm not going to say they're bulging. Um, they're ready to go. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Oh, teenage boy age. Yuck. Oh, God. Oh, God they're all teenagers. Um, no. Uh, so um, actually this, so uh, like I said, every, so some of them spend 17 years underground um, and then come up and, um, and yeah, like I said, scream and have sex and stuff. But I've actually got a picture of one because uh, oh. there is something quite interesting about them. Okay. Um, before we get into more about cicadas themselves, there I want to tell you something cool. This is what they look like. So uh, this is a cicada, not um, on top of another cicada. It's actually molting. It's coming out of, um, oh. so that's it kind of uh, basically crawling out of its own ah, skin. It's coming out of itself. Yeah. And so they leave those sort of husks and it just looks like a full cicada. Um, oh my God. And then they're out there flying about. Um, cause, so that's it basically. Um, um, molting its sort of um, nymph outer shell. And the reason I want to talk about these is not only because uh, I think they're really cool and interesting, mm. but also there's a Pokemon based on cicadas you might have heard of. Um, yeah, the, the cicadas are very well known. Ninkada and Shedinja from generation three. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's ah, their, their life cycle is- I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> My point is that their life cycle is really interesting in that they, they bury themselves underground for like uh, five to 17 years and then they sprout. Um, shed their shells, fly off, make a loud noise, have sex, and die. Um, <laughs> and this year, actually, um, we're we're expecting Brood X to come out in spring. So this would be in uh, North America. Um, so in the United States, um, we're expecting them to come out in spring. Um, and this will be the first time that this this sort of group has been seen since 2004. Ooh. Yeah, so like... <laughs> so the world was a very these, different place in 2004. The world was a very different place, but for cicadas, it's probably largely the same. Um, 
So they were born in 2000. They were like, they hatched in 2004 and then buried themselves. They've been sitting underground and eating for 17 years. Oh, of course. And now they're going to come out and, uh, and, you know, and make a racket. Um, and there are thousands of species, over 3,000 species of cicada all around the world. Um, and only about seven of them, um, only about seven species come out um, every 13 to 17 years. The rest of them, like I said, um, are every five or so years. But because the because they're not all like synced up, you can get cicadas coming out basically, you get cicadas coming out basically every year, essentially, right? Um, <clears throat> and so they lay their eggs in plants, uh, like I said. Um, and the, the interesting thing about cicadas is that they look like locusts, kind of, right? So people mm -hmm. used to think they were a plague. Um, but actually, they don't kill plants. They just drink their sap. So usually, unless you're like a little baby plant, cicadas won't bother you too much. They'll just, you know, they'll come and drink your sap and then, oh. and then die. But because they're really easy prey as well, they're great for the environment. Mm. I, I genuinely love cicadas. Everything just wants to gobble them up. <laughs> they're so easy to eat. <laughs> and when I say there are millions, I mean like... Houses, cars can be swarmed by cicadas. Like, <laughs> oh, I've seen pictures of that. Yeah, yeah, there's lots. Yeah. So, like, any animal that eats other animals will probably just find, like, they can just find cicadas and just eat them. So mm. they're really great for the environment. Um, and it's just they're just cool. So if you live in North America, you'll probably be expecting to hear a massive racket at some point in spring. Um, and the way that that works is essentially um, they. How like you might be wondering how do they tell time? How do they know that seventeen years has passed? And how do they all come out at the same time? Mm. You know, it's not like they've got synchronized watches That's or anything. True. They're little bugs. Yeah. Um, the way they do it is by um, do you know how they're in the they're sort of, so they're buried in sort of next to the roots of trees, and they um, essentially trees every year. Um, with the seasons will change the kind of fluid that's flowing through them. The kind of um, mm. the amount of fluid that's flowing through them. That's kind of how you get um, uh, the rings in trees. The growth changes. Yeah based on um, the season. So cicadas kind of keep track of that. And when like 17 cycles have gone, um, they'll then be ready to come up when the conditions are right. And those conditions are essentially um, the soil being at like 18 degrees centigrade. So what happened one year was that um, there was a really harsh winter, like a really um, warm January, then a really harsh few weeks after that. So the mm -hmm. trees had 17 sort of cycles within 16 years. Mm -hmm. And the cicadas came up um, early. a year, like uh, yeah, a year early. So that's how that's how they do that. But um, that's not even the most interesting thing about cicadas. I just want to tell you something. Uh, two two last things. Uh, you guys have seen The Last of Us, right? Yes. I mean, seen it, played the, it. The game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen it. I've never played it. I have soon to be a TV series. Yeah, so it's, you will see it one day. Potentially, yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys, what's the what's the core conceit of The Last of Us? The sort of uh, what, what's going on there with why all the people there's zombies? Like, there's a there's a plague going around, turning people into zombies. It's uh. Oh, what does it do? It's like a fungus, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So a similar thing it actually happens with cicadas in that um, there is a specific fungus that infects them and then um, can synchronize with their lifestyle, um, their lifestyle, synchronize, synchronize with their life cycle. Mm -hmm. um, and then when it comes out ready to like, ready to, um, you know, have sex and die, um, it essentially takes over the bottom part of its body mm -hmm. um, while it's still alive. And so while it's flying around, it just spreads more of its spores um, and infects more cicadas. Which is really cool, but that's not that's not the most that's not like the worst one. The worst um, fungus that we know about that infects cicadas um, causes them to just basically come up early um, and then lets a mushroom grow out of their head. And the mushroom yeah. uses them for food, I assume. Yeah, the mushroom uses them. for oh, food. Oh wow! Yeah, Ooh. yeah, that's kind of cool, but horrifying. It is horrifying, but some cicadas have also got um, a symbiotic relationship with these sort of parasites. So. Essentially, the fungus gets a home in the cicada, right. and the cicada um, gets nutrients from the fungus. Um, and they've kind of, it's, they kind of, you can kind of think of it as um, almost domesticating the fungus. Uh, but we don't know how any of this has happened. Uh, we just have spotted weird stuff going on with cicadas. And obviously, they're very difficult to study as well, because um, if you're looking at specific broods, it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's a seven. You've got ones that come up every five years, sure. Yeah. But there's ones that only come out every 17 years. Like, so that's rare. Yeah. Mm. So it's difficult to, you know, if you miss it, mm. you've missed it. You've got to wait for another 17 years. But that is cicadas. And if you hear a loud noise um, in spring for a few weeks, mm. that'll be why. We should be expecting them. We should be. Unless, unless they're also in lockdown, in which case it might be. It might be delayed. <laughs> it might be delayed. Yeah, you just you don't. might expect them next year. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do you know what? I don't want to. This I, I don't know if we as cicadas can really abide by this uh, by this six this six foot thing. So <laughs> let's just hold off a year until this pandemic's oh, done. COVID nineteen thing. Oh, <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing that. And that is cicadas, the weird bugs that come up every year, shout and die. <laughs> how, I want to be one. Sorry, how do yeah. they make their 
How do they make their screamy noise? Um, I mean, probably the same way that most bugs, that, uh, rubbing most their bugs feet. Like that do. Probably by rubbing, yeah, rubbing their bodies together. Yeah. Right. I think the, the, the reason they're so loud as well is because if you think about how loud a cr one single cricket is, mm. which they're not super closely related, but mm -hmm. one single cricket is loud, right? Mm. Uh, if you've got like a million of them, it's much, much it's very, very loud. Like an airplane. Yeah, like genuinely. That's that's not necessarily the the volume of the noise, but that's like the sound yeah, yeah, yeah. that you can yeah. that you can liken it to. Um, and the thing is that they're not even that disruptive. You know, they're just they're just chilling, just making chilling, a loud yeah. noise, and uh, they scream for a bit and they go away. Yeah, exactly. Seventeen years, it's fine. <laughs> much like a normal teenager, <laughs> come out, scream for a bit, then go away. <laughs> If you enjoyed that clip, head over to patreon.com forward slash SciGuys where you can find the full show. Or you can stay here and catch up on old SciGuys episodes. Or you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at SciGuysPod to find out when we're doing more live shows. <laughs> <laughs>